Nine months after a head-on crash took the lives of a Boca Raton mother and son, a man is charged with their deaths. And now their family wants to make sure everyone makes it home safe. Our Cassandra Garcia shares their message to drivers. Yeah, so it would be... Uh, An arrest that brought closure for the family members of two victims killed in a car crash in late January. It's been long overdue. We want justice to be served, and, you know, my mother and my brother deserve that. 30-year-old Alexander Lawrence Spando went before a judge today, charged with two counts of vehicular homicide. Because of the severity of the case, I think the state actually is being extremely reasonable in its request of a 70000 per count bond. David and Ricky Polo were in the courtroom this morning to honor their mother, Elizabeth, and brother, Daniel, who were killed in the crash. I wanted to, to see the person who, who did this to our family. This accident has affected many lives, both from our side, and I can't imagine um, his side of his family with his father trying to do his best for his son. It happened at Glades Road and Boca Grove Boulevard in Boca Raton. According to the arrest report, Spando went into oncoming traffic and collided head-on with Elizabeth and Daniel's car. Elizabeth died on scene, and Daniel died in the hospital later that day. We miss her mom's contagious smile and, and her laugh, and, and, and we miss Danny being the uncle that he is. We have kids. You know, it's very hard that, you know, our kids are like, I miss my uncle, I miss my grandmother. But they say today marked the start of their healing. They hope the accident will serve as a reminder, sending this message to drivers. My big thing is to, you know, slow it down. All it takes is one mistake, one one glance, not looking in the mirror, um, and, and you can be in a, in a similar situation. Cassandra Garcia, WPTV News Channel 5.